there, it's Cassie. Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit upset. It took me a little while to re-record this just because I was so angry at it. Um, but I forgot to, <laughs> um, I forgot to hit uh, record <laughs> on this earlier. So I had it recording, but I didn't have any voice on it, and that was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, but uh, we're here now, and I have a lot of goodies to show you um, from N21. And so I have stores, uh, stuff from Real Evil, Black Bantam, Bessum, Sabotage, Cheeky P, Candy Doll, Atomic, Cl Claw Tooth, Gato, Kibitz, Kitcha, Little Bones, Pseudo, Rain, Sabotage, Ex Busy, Vici, Worth It, and um, Tan uh, uh, <laughs> Worth It, Yummy, and Amiable. Even when I'm re recording, I still mess up. <laughs> Um, right now I am wearing Amiable, the knit and feather fur outfit. Um, it is extremely cute, honestly. I've, I've been wearing it for a little while, um, uh, even after I did this video, I went back into it. I just like how fluffy it is, and I feel like a little ballerina princess. <laughs> um, but, um, you'll see later on in the video that I did have a few issues with alpha ing on some of the other clothes, or, um... There wasn't really much else wrong. It was just maybe slight uh, clipping or something, but it was very, very minor. Um, but these come in a bunch of sizes. It comes in um, uh, Beleza, uh, Venus, uh, Freya, and Isis. It comes in a classic fit mesh, Maitreya, Slink, and TMP. And then they are separate, so you can wear them on their own. Like, I really like the sweater, and I would probably wear it with, like, high-waisted jeans or a skirt. Um... I just really like how well it fits on my shoulders. I think it's really cute. And look how fun and f cute this is. It's all frilly. Um, I don't know what the word I'd call for it. Uh, I don't think it's... Is it feather? I don't know. It's cute. <laughs> there are a bunch of colors with it. So I did go through the swatches on this. So there's like pink and purple and blue. If we get to it. <laughs> you can see them all on the HUD right over here. Though, so I clicked each one to show you. Um, but since there are layers on the clothing, so it takes a few seconds extra for it to load, so, um, be a little patient with it. <laughs> um, it's just because there's also the textures on top of the mesh, which I think is a really cute detail. And these are all the colors, and I like the black, I think, the most. I like the black sweater, especially. Um, I'm also wearing the black bantam kitty. It says, like, I think it's peace and love and unikitty, so that's what I have right up here cute little rainbow kitty okay so anyways I'm gonna scroll on up now and look at the black phantom so yeah peace and love and unikitty and uh, like all the other animals they normally have uh, they have uh, the menu right here where you can have like little role play things you can turn it on and off so it talks to you on its own or if someone clicks it uh, I always turn those off and you could also hide the name or change the name or change the tag color I normally also have those off just because I don't really like hover text that much I feel like it kind of ruins <laughs> the look that I like um, anyways we can go on we have yummy necks and we have the layered pearl necklace so we have it in gold and in silver and this is actually really cute. Let me change it real quick. I believe I changed. Yeah, there we go. And so this is real evil. Um, I'm wearing the army printed one. Um, but this is necklace. It is uh, modifiable, so you can move it around, stretch it, um, fit it how you'd like. I guess tint it if you want. You don't need to. But there's no resize or script in it. It is script free. You just have to stretch it how you want. It also comes in gold. In silver, like I already said, it. it also comes in silver, and um, so this one I hadn't moved yet. I obviously wore the gold one already, uh, the silver one I hadn't adjusted quite yet, um, but I did put it on and it fit really well. I did also rotate it um, just because I was wearing a shirt. Like I think if I wasn't wearing, if I had cleavage showing, it wouldn't have to rotate it at all. But I just did it so I could show you guys over this army top. Um, we have Worth next, and I had forgotten to unbox it, so <laughs> I did then eventually. Um, this is a two-piece set, so it comes with boots and the army, or the onesie, and they come in a few colors. So I pulled up the HUD. This is for the boots. You can change the metals as well as the colors of the boots themselves. There's natural colors, and then there's also a bunch of vibrant, and the black, I believe, is in the vibrant. Um, 
I did go through a few of these colors, I didn't go through them all, but they have a demo out so you can see it. As you can see, like at my crotch, that was the one of the few alpha issues that I had. Um, if I re alpha it, it like, uh, it showed like my cooter, and I don't like showing that. I, bleh, I don't know. <laughs> it was really minor though, it's really hard to see. And um, just get a demo and see how it fits you. It fits everyone differently, so you never know. Um, but that was my experience with it. Uh, the rest of it fits really well though on the shoulders and fits clinging to the body and I really like the wrinkle texture. Uh, so this is the army one and then I went through all the colors. So we have army and then we have black, we have brown, we have gray, and then we have khaki. Alrighty then, so we move on to the next item, and that is going to be Vici, which makes me very happy. Uh, I did show you guys also that you can wear this romper on its own. You can also wear the boots on their own, but this is it without the boots. And I did alpha a few more spots. It just kind of clipped a bit, so I was just showing how it looked. Um, but we're going to go up to Vici now. I still get, keep getting a little frustrated at myself, so if I do little random pauses with my voice, it's because I'm just trying to be okay. Um, but this is the Glitter Frosted Liner. I am already wearing one. I've had a hard time taking it off. I've been really loving it. So this is the N21 exclusive, and I believe I'm wearing it in pink. Yeah, I'm wearing it in pink. Uh, the Katwa HUD, I put it on eventually just so I can show you all of the different colors all together, because these are very subtle changes in it, very subtle tints, and you couldn't really see it behind my eyelashes at first. I eventually did take them off when I realized but you can see it. Uh, so that was the aqua. We have blue. We have lavender. And then that's when I put on the HUD so I can show you them all together. And this is the light pink. And then exclusive green. And I think this is when I finally remembered to take off my <laughs> eyelashes. <laughs> just so you could see them a little bit better. If you wonder what eyelashes I wear, I'm almost always wearing Letra. Uh, that's just, they're very comfortable and they fit really well on my eyes. Uh, so this is exclusive pink. Exclusive purple. Then we have orange, rose gold, silver, teal, and yellow gold. And the exclusives, they'll only be at this event. They won't be resold again in stores, so it's a really good deal to get it now. And then I just pulled up the HUDs as well for the Katwa one so I could show you it uh, while going through all the rest of the colors. So there is a HUD just for the exclusives, and then there's the HUD for the Katwa ones. So I went through and showed you all these colors, and we have, oh my gosh, I moved it to the side so I can't see it myself. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, this is why I don't like re-recording over my voice, because then I'm, I get all panicky and I don't know what to do. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, self. So we have, we went through all the colors really fast, because I'm already going through the exclusive greens, purples, teal orange, teal violet, <laughs> and teal yellow. Oh my gosh. So the other ones were aqua, orange, blue, orange, blue, purple, and blue, yellow. I'm just apparently too fast for myself. <laughs> um, we have Sabotage X Beauty next, and this was a hair. So I went and put this on. Uh, there's the HUD, and then we have the do-rag HUD, and then we also have the hair itself. So I took off my Ilua hair, and again, this was from Tannenbaum, if you're curious and want to get it, it's really cute. Okay, so we're having the hair load now. Um, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> uh, here we go. Okay, so this is the do-rag, and I'm having the colors load in, and I, I was derping, and I forgot to minimize my chat window earlier, so you saw blueberry chat, but that's okay. Everybody in blueberry chat's friendly and cute. Um, so I went through a few of the colors. I didn't go through all of them, but it has a cute little uh, strap at the back, and I really like the hair. It curves really nice. I will say you do have to adjust your head just a bit for this. I realized that my forehead was clipping at the top, and I think I show it eventually. Um, I'm waiting for it. <laughs> um, but I normally, it was such a subtle move that you wouldn't really notice my head unless I point it out, so I don't really think it was that big of a deal. Um, but it's just like a si slight change, it's just very minor. <laughs> um, I do really like these colors as well. I think their HUD colors are really nice. And they're, they're hairs that I don't really see much in Second Life, so I thought they were pretty original. Um, 
we have rain next and we have their Amelia fringed booties so we'll go over these next um, we have the Maitreya high and then we have the HUD okay so I'll put on the HUD and it's a, a rainberry HUD which always makes me really happy I love when they collab uh, so we have uh, you can remove the fringe if you don't like it just click the fringe off button if you do click any of the other textures the fringe will turn right back on um, just because it's kind of like an alpha thing but if you click on the fringe off again it will take it right back off with that same color uh, so you just kind of got to pick your color and then take off the fringe if you want it off um, but it comes with blueberry huds rain color huds and then there's the metal huds as well and I always like uh, the bottom of the shoe colors I always like to have it uh, as the red but there's black red and tan Whew, I went crazy apparently <laughs> um, but yeah, you can mix and match how you want. Um, you, there's also a really small metals HUD uh, for that zipper up there, if you can see it, um, where you can have it at black, gold, or silver. See, right there. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm so slow with this, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so we finished up with this HUD. And I think I took off the fringe at the end, and then we will move on to the next item. I just was really focused on these shoes, apparently. <laughs> uh, we have Pseudo next, and we had a bunch of it from Pseudo. I did accidentally mess up like halfway through. Um, there were some items that were no copy, so with the script that he sent out, it didn't copy through. So I just rezzed it out again, right-clicked, and opened instead, and they worked fine. Um, and I will say there is also a tiny bit of clipping issue here as well, just on the butt. But I think it's because I have really thick saddlebags, uh, just to make my butt look even with my legs. Uh, anyways, we have, this is in white, and then there's also a white without the texture on it. And it kind of looks like a mimicked uh, Calvin Klein, like casual texture on it. And this is the one without the texture on this as well. These are plain. So, um, we have a bunch of different colors for it, so this is it in white. I really like the side boob on the bra on the left side, or our right side, my left. Uh, we have it in yellow, and all of these do have the printed versions as well. We have it in beige, we have red, and I don't know why I went so fast. And then I, this is where I messed up, this was the pink, and I didn't have the Maitreya one because I goofed. Um, but it showed up after, it was just, <laughs> I, I didn't pay attention. So I put on the slink one thinking that I should still show the color, but eventually I went, paused the video, and unboxed them properly, <laughs> just so you could see all the colors. So this is it right here. Uh, so this is it in pink. And these come in a lot of sizes, by the way. They're Freya, Isis, Maitreya, Slink, Hourglass, and Venus. Uh, so still no TMP. Um, let's see, I, don't, I have it in olive, black, gray, I think that's the last one. But these are really cute, honestly, I would definitely wear these. I really like stuff that's more tomboy, it's really my style. So I just moved this over afterwards to the N21 folder, and then I kept going. And Little Bones is next, and I think this is my favorite hair of everything. Um, but I always really like Little Bones, so that's not really... <laughs> A surprise there and I actually took it off again but that's okay <laughs> and I forgot to take off that alpha so that's a little odd I should have done that wasn't really paying attention if you guys know me you know I really love this animation HUD I think this is so cute I'm always just amazed and in shock over it I don't think I'll ever like be used to it so you can twist turn it all over to one side you can have it all in front I don't know why I edited oh it's moving out of the way so you can see and you can push it all back, and you can put it to the other side. I think this is my favorite right here. You can have it in front again, a little bit behind, and then you can have the other one behind. Like, I just love that. I think that is so cool. And obviously my favorite is the one all the way flipped over. Like, it just looks so good. I ha always get the browns HUD, but they have a bunch of different other colors. So you can always check those out. We have from Kitja, and I think this is my favorite outfit of everything it was the Leona dress and this is so pretty I love the spikes I love the colors you can mix and match the arms I normally just like to keep the same color so I'm not really gonna mix and match but you can if you want like you, they have uh, two extra colors that come only if you get the fat pack 
and it's like a really lovely forest green and then I wouldn't really know what to call the light green right there it's almost like an aquamarine I don't know but we have black uh, blue gray um, burgundy uh, nude and like I don't know what would you call that like a burnt orange I don't know it's so pretty though I love it I really like uh, the spikes though. I think that's such a really original idea and I like that it's a turtleneck um, if it were a bit longer I'd be able to wear it at Mischief Manage but since it's not I can't but that's okay I still really like it there's two versions there's one with the slip and without it and the only difference really is panties right there so if you want to be able to wear pants with it you can uh, so they have that option without it um, but that's that's the only difference <laughs> that I've noticed if there's another difference then let me know but that's all I saw the next one is Kip Kibitz and actually went to the event so I could show you the advertisement for this because I honestly was confused at first until I saw it and then it made more sense to me uh, I thought I had messed up or something, but it is slink gesture hands only, uh, size 10 and 20. So um, if you uh, want to get these, make sure you demo it, make sure you also have slink, but these are also modifiable. So if you want, you can always edit them and you can move them to your own fingers if you want. Like honestly, I, I would probably do that because I normally do have to move the rings anyways so I don't know that's personally what I would do if I was super adamant about having Maitreya hands but I like to slink gesture hands too honestly it's just a bit annoying when I hit full alpha and I see my hands doubled and I did that quite a few times in this video and I eventually kind of just threw my hands away <laughs> but this is it in copper and normally copper and uh, onyx are my favorites that I get um, I mainly buy random ones like I'll it depends on what it is like the coven one I bought the black but this one I I would definitely wear the copper more than anything but see like right there there's just like a little spot right there that you might need to edit or move it around so like if I don't know if I would do this I would also do it with the slink hands to get it to fit just make sure you make a copy so you don't mess up everything and ruin it all and then here's the other side right over here and I think they are the same the same ones just on the other hand and maybe moved a little bit different and my thumb is inside my thigh, so that made it a little hard to see the final one. Um, I just went like that. <laughs> and yes, I have different nail polishes and fingers, fingernails on each hand, just because I don't, I don't use these very often. <laughs> I mix and match. So we have gold right here, and then we have onyx. And I didn't, I didn't cut scene for any of these. I just ch changed them because it didn't take too long to res. This is the onyx. Then we have the final one, which is in silver. Okay, so yeah, this is the silver. And we're finishing up soon. I think we only have a few things left. No, we have quite a few. I lied. <laughs> we have Gato coming up next, though, and they are flash pants. And these instantly brought me back to, like, the 80s. They're so bright. Well, this one isn't. These are black. <laughs> um, but they're just, like, really loud and exciting, and I really liked them. So this is number one. I will say that... I got two of number seven and I'm missing number ten, so there might be one more color and I just didn't see it. So I would go there and see which other colors they have, but I also did show you the colors here. So we have two, three, and then we have number four, five, and six coming up soon. I moved so you can see it from the butt to six, and then seven, and then yeah, I had a repeat, so I have eight, nine, and then 11. I love the rainbow bright. I <laughs> think it's so cute. Um, waiting for 11. I guess I was really into the rainbow bright one. Yeah, the 11 is like a bright pink with leopard print. Okay, so continuing on, <laughs> uh, we will be going to Claw Tooth next, and this is called Pull My Trigger. I started getting her hairs in black because I've kind of realized that all of her browns are a little bit too light for me, and this is like more of like a violet black but it fits closer to my hair tone than the rest so that's why I got it um, this atomic and tinsel party I think is my other super favorite uh, item in this uh, I might go buy the, all the other colors just because I loved it so much I just bought it in coal for now and then it comes with this HUD that changes all the sweaters oh see the <laughs> fingers they made me so mad <laughs> um, but I was able to pause it and fix it. And then this, look at all the colors that it comes with the sweater. Uh, there are eight different polka dot colors. And this comes in hourglass, 
Maitreya, Physique, and TMP. So TMP bodies can actually wear stuff too. And I really love this. Uh, the red and gold was honestly my favorite just because I'm a Gryffindor. <laughs> um, I, I loved it. I, I definitely want to wear this. And I did wear this uh, for a while. I blogged it even. I thought this was so cute. So I'm so happy Atomic's making stuff. <laughs> This heel is really nice too. There's like a b blue and bronze. And then this is the red and gold if I go back to it. Did I not go back to it? Oh, I'm a turd. <laughs> I'm probably explaining how much I liked it. Yeah, I didn't even go back to it. What a dork. Okay, so uh, this is from Candy Doll. And this is the Gianna skirt. And I got it in all. If you ever get the fat pack, then you're able to like mix and match and stuff. And um, that's what I really love about her fat packs. That's why I normally do veer towards hers, just so I can mess around with it like this. Like I think this is so cool that you can either go from really dark and almost like gothic, or like Batman apparently, or pastel. Um, and I really like the little slight butt cleavage that she has on most of her skirts. I just think it looks so cute. Um, you do need to probably wear panties with these. I just saw a little peek. Um, but it's so cute, and I really want to wear like a bustier or bralette or something with it. Um, I really like the ruffles. Uh, I moved on to the next item, and that was from Real Evil. And this is the last item. I, we already did best. Um, I'm not, I don't know what I'm talking about. Ah, we have Cheeky Pea next, not Bessem. I got way over ahead of myself. So we have Cheeky Pea, we have the Snowy Arbor, and this is what I blogged as well the other day. Uh, so there is the overhang itself with the porch and then we also have the swing and there's an adult and PG version and they're separate so you can have the swing anywhere you want if you want to have it in a tree instead uh, it's meant to be in this but it do what you want <laughs> really you can have fun with it if you click it you can also swing it which I think is really cool and I really like the stars um, I said the land impact and now I'm derping on it I think I get to it in a bit but there's singles poses, there's cuddles, and then there's also adult stuff. I'm not going to go through those because it's a little sad doing it alone. The arch is 14 and the swing is 6. So there we go. Um, okay, so where was I going to do next? I have sabotage coming up next, so I'll wait on that. But this is really pretty. This is something I'll actually put out on my land if I ever somehow decorate it. I've, I've been saying I'll decorate it for forever, and I just haven't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I will one day. I don't. I haven't seen a point to yet. Um, so I have sabotage, and there are open sweatpants, and these are stuff that I wore in the '90s, like constantly. Like these were just, I loved them. I wore them to death. My mom had to like beg me to stop wearing them. She eventually threw them out when I wasn't looking. <laughs> I loved these so much. Um, they come uh, in a bunch of different colors. I'm wearing them in black right now, and they like they have the little buttons up that go all the way up. Alpha-ing is a little bit hard on it. It did take me a little bit to alpha, and I did it on here just so you could see it. Um, I know I did the pelvis, and I know I did my upper legs, and then I brought some back. So we're going to do that right now. <sighs> and I'm yawning and stuff, but... Um, I completely spaced out. I got an email. Um... It only took like a little bit, like I, I brought it up to here and I think that was my highest point. I needed to go for the the pants and see like it looks perfect there now. Um, but gosh, I love these and they fit really well and I, I really like when I find something that I might not normally wear and then I love it. So we had black, blue, orange, pink, red, white, and then I realized that they do have tops with them so I didn't have to wear the real evil one. Uh, so this is in, in black. And uh, there is a slight rigging issue here, uh, just at the shoulder, um, but it's really minor, honestly. I probably wear a shirt, and you cover it, and you never even notice. Not a shirt, hair, um, but it has it in black and red, and I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, moving on. Oh, no, yeah, pink and then red. My bad. Moving on, we're going to go up to Bessem, so they have another hair. And this is called Sunday, and I really liked this hair a lot, so I'll put this on now. We have Bessem, and then we had Busey down there. I don't know why I just thought they were the same thing. I'm really having brain farts. The fact that I'm like re-recording this and still messing it up is kind of silly. <laughs> but this is Bessem, and I always get the browns pack. I think their browns always look really good, and I like the little 
flyaway hairs on the left. I think those are so cute. There is a little bit of a uh, rigging, or not rigging, um, break at the forehead, so again, you just have to shrink it a bit. I apparently have a really long face because <laughs> both hairs didn't really fit me too well, uh, but that's okay. We already went over Black Bantam, so finally we're going to do Real Evil. And we have a few things. We have their inlet top, and this was my favorite. I wore this everywhere. If people are, if you're on my plurk, I, uh, I just kept on posting pictures of me dancing in it. I just thought it was so cute. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, a, I'm apparently a sucker for under boob, even though I'd probably not wear it anywhere except for on my platform or at my house. Um, but I love it. I think it is adorable. It comes. It is a Maitreya exclusive, and uh, there's also like a post stand and an update card. And then this is the top with all the HUD colors. And I believe they're all sold together. I don't. I bought them there, so this is how I bought it. I think they all just come in this pack. So there's a bunch of colors, and I went through them really quickly. So we have white. I like that you can see a little bit of nipple poking through, too. And black. And then we have... Oh, I really like that back. We have pink, and then red, we have like a beige, and an aquamarine, we have blue, we have a red, we have like a burnt orange, we have a soft violet, we have gray, and finally, my favorite one with the handprints. I just think it's so cute. I wore it with uh, Izzy's mud applier. I thought it was adorable. They also have a printed top, and these just have a few extra colors. And I'm almost wondering if these are an N21 exclusive. I wasn't quite sure. Uh, but they just come with a few other colors, and they were really cheap. Like, both of these were a really good price. So, uh, we had the camo, and then we have another camo, which is uh, gray. And then we have the lightning bolts and the leopard print if we get to it. I like the lightning bolt a lot and I like the heart a lot too. And then finally uh, just gray splatter. But I thought these are adorable. And finally we just have the Grazia earrings and necklace. So we'll put those on next. So these have like little flowers on them. I do need to adjust them because my ears poke out so most earrings doesn't don't fit me <laughs> very well. Um, but it's it's a really easy fix. It takes seconds to do, and I thought there was a resizer, but there's not, uh, and it's no mod, so you can't shrink it. So I think you have to keep them that big. Uh, but you can uh, delete the scripts after when you're done. Uh, just make sure you make a copy of it. It's always really important whenever you feel like you're going to delete a script. Um, but it comes with a bunch of different metals: uh, gray, black, gold, bronze or copper, bronze, and rose gold, maybe? And then there's a bunch of different velvets for the choker itself. And then the roses, there's white, black, red, pink, blue, and violet. It's a bunch of different colors. <laughs> and that's it. Um, I'm finally done with this video, and I'm just going to go collapse on the couch for a bit. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for being so derpy, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Alright, bye.